Hey everybody, this is Jeff again from the library. We're going to talk today about how to use NewsBank, which is the newspaper database. Similar to EBSCO, but whereas EBSCO covers primarily magazines and journals, NewsBank is primarily a newspaper database. So we're going to open this up from the library website. You go in here. How I usually use this, or one, one way to use this, probably the way I generally use it, I go down where it says United States. We can look at all the all the United States newspapers that it has in it. Now, it all, this is only a, US, a U.S. newspaper database. It doesn't have foreign countries in it. It does have some U.S. territories in it. Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, American Samoa, but otherwise it's just the United States. So what we're going to do, we're going to research a topic and it's going to look through all the newspapers that it has in the United States. It doesn't have every newspaper published in the U.S., but it has quite a few of them. You can see in California it's going to be searching through 112 different newspapers, Colorado 24 different newspapers, so quite quite a bit. Florida, you got 50 newspapers in there. So I'm going to put together a search here to search U.S. newspapers. I'm going to change this first one to headline so I can make the articles a little more specific. And let's say I want some version of the word autism in there. Now I'm going to use a little trick here because autism, it might be in here as autistic or, or autism or autistic or Autistics. It could be in all these different versions. Now, the spelling of the word changes after the I. Now, I could run this search like this with all these ORs, but a little shortcut here. The spelling would change after the, uh, I guess after the S, right? Autism or autistic. It would either be an M or a T and then whatever else. I'm going to go like this. Shift 8 is an asterisk so I can find any version of that word. Any version of this word in the headline. And uh, since there's probably going to be quite a few there, I'm going to say, not necessarily in the headline, but at least in the first paragraph, they have to mention some version of the word vaccine. Okay, so we've got vaccine, vaccines, vaccinate, vaccinations. I'm going to do my same trick here. The first part of the word, then an asterisk to find every version of the word. Okay, let's do a search here and see what we find. So going through all the U.S. newspapers, we found, we found 1,116 newspaper articles on this. Okay. Any one of these that you click on, the newspaper article is just going to open up for you. There's the article. You can see this came from the Washington Times, published May 20th, 2011. If we scroll down here a little bit, we could print this article out. If you click print, don't click citations only or it'll just give you the citation. You want the full text. So you click print articles, print article. There it is there in a print-friendly format. When you're done with it, you can go back and just you would click print to actually print it. I'm going to click back to document since I'm done with this. You could also email the document to yourself. Click email there and you type in your email address. Now it's going to ask for an email address from um, and an email address to, to, so it's kind of strange. So I'm going to put in my email address here. It's my email address. Now I'm just going to copy this because it's asking for the email address from a little silly, but that's the way it is. What if I send this? It's going to send an email to my email account. The email message was sent. It says right there, and when I open up my email, I'm going to have this article waiting for me. So let me go back. Oh, and there, there we go. A little pop-up just told me I just received an email from NewsBank. So that was that was pretty quick. Okay, I'm going to click Edit Search now. Right there, I clicked Edit Search. So now I saw all those in the U.S. There was over a thousand articles. I'm going to make this more specific now. I've still got my same search terms here. I'm going to click Colorado. We're going to run this search just in Colorado. So that's, that's a lot more manageable. we got 15 articles just in Colorado. And so I could open up these articles just like the other, the other ones. Now, like I said, these are just articles just from Colorado. We see the Daily Camera, Daily Examiner. Let me go back to Edit Search here. You could even get more specific than that if you would want. I'm going to take that check mark off. I'm going to go into Colorado and tell it just run me searches in Boulder and Denver. So it has all these different newspapers. I'm going to do Boulder, Daily Camera, Daily Camera Blogs, uh, Denver Examiner, Denver Post, and the Rocky Mountain News is in there even though most of you probably know the Rocky Mountain News no longer publishes. It stopped publishing in 2009 but we could search the back issues of it that were published before it went out of business. So we're just going to search Boulder and Denver now. You can get as specific as you want. Okay, we're down to 13 articles there. So <clears throat> that's pretty much how it works. Let me go back to edit search. Let's take another look at this. Uh, let me take all these off. There's probably a real quick way to 
unselect all these, but I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way here. And uh, let's go back to the search here. Let's go back to uh, United States. We've still got our same search there. Now I could run this search. Let's say I want to look at all these mountain states here. All these states kind of in the Colorado region. So I could go down here to the mountain button, mountain, and click select. And notice it's selected automatically all these states that are kind of surrounding Colorado. We could run the search now. Now we're searching Colorado, Montana, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, all those kinds of states. Idaho, did I say Idaho already? I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's how, that's how you do that. Let's say, well, I did, I, and then I could compare those articles to, I'm going to deselect mountain. How about Pacific? How about these, what's happening in the California, on the, on the coast, on the west coast? Alaska's going to be in there too, and you know, if you didn't want that, you could just go and say, well, just give me California and Oregon. I don't really... California, Oregon, and Washington. Let's say you, did, you didn't want Alaska in there because that kind of changes the picture. So we could go through here, select Oregon, go to the bottom here and select Washington. You could run the search that way. Got 149 articles. And we're, we're probably going to find different, uh, different points of view around the country too, which I think is pretty interesting. You can kind of compare it. We could go in here and edit search. I'm going to take those off now. What were the ones? I, Oregon and Washington, I think I selected. Okay, let's go into, let me go into California now. And I'm just going to run this in a specific city, a specific newspaper. Find a good one here. Let's see. Let's see what they have for San Francisco. Here we go. San Francisco, San Francisco Chronicler. I think I'm going to run it just in that newspaper in San Francisco. Run the search, see what happens. There's four articles I found there. So you can get really, really specific geographically with, with this database, which is something you really cannot do with the other databases. So that's the neat thing about this, this particular one. Uh, if you want to go back to the home page here, click Other News Bank Products, and then All News Bank Products. They have kind of uh, current, they have kind of current events reports over here. These are kind of neat. You could click on one of these and get to a compilation of a bunch of articles on these, these topics. You could also go to major US newspapers and just look at the largest newspapers and just search them set aside for you in a little set of newspapers there. Let's go back here. So that's, that's how you use uh, the Newsbank newspaper database. Very similar to EBSCO. It's just searching newspapers instead of magazines and journals. And uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how to do MLA citations using Newsbank. But for this video, I think we're done. If you have any questions, contact me in the library. Email me, call me, drop by. Always happy to help you. Uh, this is Jeff signing off.